What's up guys? Today I got a log that I want to try to get cut up. It's been out here for a few years, at least three years, and it's a maple log and I'm hoping it's really spalted and cool looking inside. Either that or we're going to open it up and it's going to be a pile of dog shit. I'm not sure yet, but we'll find out real quick. It's one of these three logs. It's the one in the back on the bottom. So it's been in contact with the dirt for a while. So I'm sure that's had an effect on it. But let's open it up and see what it looks like. Okay guys, we got it up here on the sawmill. Uh, the bark is all fallen off. It's, it's got some orange flavored mold on it. Uh, lots of dirt. So I'm hoping the inside is really spalted. Uh, that's when you get all the black designs and waves in it and everything. That looks really cool. and uh, That's what we're hoping for. So. Uh, for some of you new people to sawmilling, um, one thing I did do, like I said, there's dirt on it. The side that was on the ground, I put on this side of the saw because the blade is coming through the log in this direction, and that will pull the dirt off of the log and throw it away from the blade. Rather than if the dirt was on this side of the log, the blade would grab the dirt and pull it all the way through the cut and in my opinion that dulls the blades a lot faster than the other way around like I have it here. So we have the, the dirt over here and uh, the logs fairly level so I'm not going to bother using the jack at all on this one and uh, we're going to put a flat on this side and see what's, uh, what's on the inside of this one. Let's open it up.
Well, as ex expected, the first cut is nothing to write home about. It's got some nice color in it. Well, that's got some nice coloring in it. There's some ambrosia marks here from the beetles. Got a little spalting down here, but it's not as crazy as I was hoping for yet. We got a pretty good flat on here now. I think we're going to flip this log over and start from the other side now. On a quick side note here, um, so I recently picked up that tooth setter and I was doing a little bit of experimenting with it and this blade I can tell after two cuts has way too much tooth set meaning the teeth are bent out too much. Um, I noticed when the mill is higher up now I'm getting a lot of side swaying through the cut and that tells me that the teeth are grabbing too much and uh, I probably won't be doing that much set anymore on this one. So, just a side note for you guys wondering if more tooth set uh, helps or makes it not cut as good. Uh, so far, in my opinion, it's something I'm going to stay away from. This is a drastic amount. I don't have the number, but just looking at it right now, if you were to go up to it and look at it, it looks like a, a snaggle tooth shark.
still pretty uneventful as far as spalting goes. But, I mean, this log does have some pretty neat color. Let's see if we can get you guys a preview now. It puts the water on the log. Anyone want any sawdust? I'm going to pick this one up without the tractor and see if I can get another hernia. For a bit, I ended up doing a blade change. I didn't like how this blade was cutting. Uh, lesson learned, that's user error on the tooth setter, and from now on I think I'll stick to the factory spec settings. But, it was just cutting too much, uh, like a washboard here. Uh, so bad news is I had to change the blade. Good news is, my wife has a new washboard for doing our laundry. When I changed the blade, uh, one of you guys must have forgot to put the bucket back on to catch the sawdust. I'll get it. Uh, got a little uh, back door at the laundry mat here. Everybody's sneaking out. Alright guys, we are left with three and a half inch thick of a slab here. And usually on these thick slabs I like to have them as wide as possible. So, to get a two and a half inch slab, if I was just to cut an inch off the top here as it sits, uh, that would make my final two and a half inch slab narrower. 
Whereas right now if I flip the three and a half inch slab and then take an inch off what will be the top, I'm taking the thinner one inch slab off the top and leaving the wider part for the thicker slab. If that makes any sense to you, it's clear as mud, I guess. So, that's what we'll do. We'll get this flipped over and take off the last inch. Last cut, here we go. And then one of you guys can take me out to lunch. I eat steak. guys well we ended up with some pretty cool slabs some good looking wood uh, it's not the spalted slabs like I wanted but uh, I'm not exactly sure I thought as long as a log sat on the ground for a couple years especially maple that it would be easy to get spalted boards out of it I guess not uh, if you guys have any better ideas or easier ways to help the wood get better spalted let me know in the comments below apparently it's a science I haven't figured out yet so I'm, I'm happy with the slabs we got though we'll make good use of those or end up selling them down the road we'll have to see but we'll get them stacked and stickered and dried up and see what they come out as thank you guys for watching again I appreciate every time you visit if you could and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so, so you can get notified in the future of more videos that we come up with and see everything we're doing. So, until next time, we'll see ya.